I'm here in Calgary today um, in my community and I just was at a rally because the National Energy Board just rendered its decision on the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Now, of course, this was, you know, it, it made me really sad because there's a lot of people that were at that rally today that saw it as a victory. And it's not a victory. Justin Trudeau has done everything, including throwing all of these other hurdles in the way possible to ensure that our energy sector doesn't have a job. Bill it doesn't have jobs. Bill C-69, the No More Pipelines bill, bill uh, the bill regarding the tanker moratorium, um, all of these processes and things that he, he just needs to make a decision at this point. He's either going to build it or not. I, I just... About their jobs they don't care about the workers in, in this community mark my word this guy here he's no friend of Canada's energy sector like one of the worst you know like all he all Trudeau wants to do is kick the can on the pipeline down the road and hope that he is not going to piss off some sort of constituency instead of standing up for the workers in Canada's energy sector and also standing up for the fact that you know People in my community have the right to work. And you know what I'm so furious about today? I am so furious to come home and have to deal with this after spending a week in Ottawa while this guy, Trudeau, and all of these people are mired in allegations regarding essentially what amounts to obstruction of justice related to a firm in another province that has been accused of essentially bribing Libyan officials to get a business. And you know what the excuse was out of the clerk of the Privy Council for that yesterday? Oh, there were jobs at stake. Now look, I, jobs are important no matter where they are in the country. But, you know, I, I watched an NDP member get up in the House of Commons yesterday on the debate on the issue of SNC-Lavalin and stand up and talk about all of these other sectors in the country that the Prime Minister should be standing up for. And you know what? Like. Was the energy sector mentioned once? No, of course it wasn't. And why? Because, you know what? We just, we need to fight. We can't accept delays, like decisions that come through today on a, like on, on delays that were put in place by this prime minister as a victory. It's not a victory. You know, I think that these guys think that people in the energy sector, people here in Alberta are just gonna sort of take this sitting down and, and you know, We've seen this before. We've seen this in the 80s, time after time after time. You know, liberal elites will give special deals to their buddies, as we're seeing in this in this in this scandal right now with SNC Lavalin, as he's alleged to have done. But what are they doing? What are they doing for the rest of the country? I'm just I'm tired of it. And so no, I'm not celebrating this 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 decision today as a victory. I, I'm I'm looking at it after coming home and sitting in the House of Commons for a week, listening to Justin Trudeau obfuscate on, on basic questions regarding whether or not he interfered in a criminal corporate corruption scam. And, 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 and you know, I just want people in Calgary to get back to work. You know, the trucks that drove across the country this week to protest in Ottawa, Justin Trudeau not even one of his liberal MPs, not that guy could even be bothered to meet with them. They don't care. They don't care, they don't care about any of this. So we have to fight back. It's an election year. The only thing, the only thing that is going to get the investment climate for our energy sector back is a change in government. That's the only thing that's going to change it. You know, I, 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 I watched local politicians at the city council level tweet at um, the people who organized the rally today saying, you know, calling calling the people that were attending it names and saying that what they were going to do was work towards a diversified economy. What that is code for is I don't want to stand up for workers in the energy sector and we need to start calling it out. The people that came to the rally today just want to work. They don't want to be standing on the streets protesting. They want to be contributing to the Canadian economy and we have to stand up and say enough is enough. So today was not a victory. We have to fight back. We have to
fight back against Bill C-69, and it's an election year and this election matters. Don't let people tell you that this federal election doesn't matter. It's the big one. It doesn't matter if you where you live in this country. You should be concerned about what's happening here. I'm gonna get back to my office and keep working, but just know these guys here, no friend to anybody in Canada, and we need to stand against them. Working hard for you and proud to stand up for my community. Have a great day.